So you want to get that cinematic look to your footage, but you're not sure how. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to add that cinematic look to your footage in five simple steps. Coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video, helping you master the art of online video production. And today I want to talk about making cinematic videos or how we can make our footage look more cinematic. And I've come up with a really simple five-step process which, if applied to your footage, will instantly make it look cinematic. In this video we're going to be covering camera settings, lighting, camera movement, music and editing. But first of all, just really quickly, let's just define what cinematic actually means. Well, a quick Google search tells us that cinematic is defined as having qualities characteristic of films. And by films, I assume they mean feature films, something you might see in the cinema, perhaps. And this is quite broad, I know. I mean, wacky comedies are screened in cinemas, but when they say films, I'm going to assume that they mean, you know, proper films, Oscar-winning, critically acclaimed films. So based on this and the look and feel of feature films, I've come up with a formula that if applied to your footage will 100% make it look more cinematic. And this can be applied to anything that you're shooting. There's no limitations on this. Buildings, people, products, anything you apply this formula to will instantly make it look more cinematic. And just to prove it to you, I've just shot a video with this banana using this exact same formula. So let's play that clip now. Cue cinematic banana sequence. So what do you think? Quite cinematic, right? I mean, for a banana, I mean, the music was probably a bit overkill, but it definitely had that cinematic feel. Now, using the same techniques that we used to shoot that banana, let's apply them to this 17th century archway. This is located about 10 miles from my house. I spent about an hour there yesterday shooting some footage with the aim of making it look cinematic. Now let's just watch this one more clip, it's only 20 seconds long, and then we'll delve deeper and start breaking down the techniques used to make this footage look more cinematic. Cue cinematic archway sequence. So what makes that footage feel so cinematic? Well, let's break those two sequences down and let me show you how you can make your footage look more cinematic. Now the first thing that you should do, which is really gonna make life a lot easier, is to shoot in slow motion if you can. This step isn't crucial, okay? But chances are, you're probably shooting at 24 frames per second. Now if you can, and your camera allows it, shoot at 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second, just anything higher than 24. The reason for that is that once you shoot in a higher frame rate, what that allows you to do in the edit is to slow your footage down. And the reason we wanna slow our footage down is that that will give us smooth camera movement. So if your footage is a little bit shaky, a little bit wobbly, then by slowing it down, you can really smooth that out. And smooth footage is what's associated with feature films or cinematic films. So by shooting in a higher frame rate and being able to slow our footage down in turn allows us to have smoother looking footage. Now the next step is lighting. We wanna to try to create some depth to our shot and we can do this by using shadows. Now if you're outside, then the best light source is the sun. Use this to your advantage. Remember, shadows are your friend. Let's use them. Always think about that light and how that light is hitting your subject. Doesn't matter if you're shooting indoors in a studio with a professional light, whether you're at your desk with a lamp or you're outside and it's the sun, just always pay close attention to whatever light is hitting your subject. Also, don't be afraid to move light. If you've got the option, you can reposition, you can move a studio light. Remember, you're in control of this. Get creative. Now, let's talk camera movement and angles, okay? Now, a slightly more inexperienced person 
we'll probably shoot everything at eye level or chest level. That seems the common angle for most people to shoot. But it's really important to remember that, again, we're in control of our camera. We can put it wherever we like to a certain extent. We can go high, we can go low, we can go close in, we can go wide. Always look for that unique angle in your footage. Always look for that unique movement, something that makes your footage stand out. It just makes it much more interesting for the viewer. Don't just default at an eye level shot or a chest height shot. Go low, go high, go wide, go tight, and everything in between. Now let's take the arch, for example. Now I tried to get a variety variety of shots here, everything from slider shots to focus pulls, and then I tried to capture shots that were a bit more unique. Whatever the opposite is of just shooting at eye level or chest level, whatever the opposite of that is, that's what I look for. Okay, so how about a shot as you're moving towards the arch and then you push up and look to reveal how high it is. Always try to emphasize whatever it is that you're shooting. So in this case, an archway, it's pretty big, but let's emphasize how big it is. Let's emphasize that arch. This is a surefire way to start making your footage look more cinematic. The majority of this footage was shot handheld, apart from two shots which I used a slider for, but everything else was handheld. Some of these shots may look like they were shot with a gimbal, but I can assure you they were handheld. I will do a future tutorial on how I shoot handheld, but let's for now just keep it all about how we make it look cinematic. Now look, this is the original clip. It's really not great, it's all over the place. But add a little bit of post-stabilization, color grade, and what was a pretty ordinary average shot at best, starts looking a lot more cinematic. And look, again, this is subjective. I'm not saying that every film that is cinematic has to be smooth and shot. Take the Bourne Identity, for example, that's a cinematic feature film that's all over the place. I mean, it works, it looks great, but it's all over the place. So try to keep your camera movements as smooth as possible. By doing these things and taking this approach, adding it all together, that's what's gonna get you this cinematic look. So now that we've shot our footage, we're gonna import it into our editing software where we're gonna to continue to layer up the cinematics. So a surefire way to start making your footage look and feel more cinematic is by simply adding a cinematic track. This will instantly make it feel more cinematic. But what is a cinematic track? Again, this is subjective, but if we just look at feature films and look at the kind of tracks that they use in a feature film, then we'll probably be looking at instrumental orchestral pieces. You want to search for something with all the characteristics of something you would hear in a feature film. A film score, for example. You could by orchestral or epic. And just to clarify, you don't have to use this style of music, but for me, whenever I hear one of those orchestral pieces, those film scores, I instantly think about feature films. So find something that feels and looks cinematic for you and add that. That is going to help your footage look and feel more cinematic. We're now going to add letterboxing. What's letterboxing? It's just two black bars on the top and the bottom of your screen. It just makes your footage feel a little bit more cinematic because this is the ratio that feature films use. Now there are a couple of different ways you can add letterboxing to your footage. You can simply add a transparent PNG. I will link one in the description of this video. That's a surefire way of adding letterboxing. If you're in Final Cut, that has a, an effect that you can drag and drop onto it. It's really, really quite straightforward. But by adding these two black bars to the top and bottom of our screen, it makes our footage feel a little bit more cinematic. Now with your frame rate, your lighting, your camera movement and angles, your music and your letterboxing, things are gonna start looking very cinematic very quickly. Now, of course, there are so many different ways to make your footage look cinematic. Think of these five simple steps as just a really quick baseline, beginner level way of getting that cinematic look. We can just keep adding to these layers. I didn't even talk about color grading. I added a simple LUT to that footage to make it look a bit more cinematic. But there are so many different things that you can do to make your footage feel more cinematic. And I encourage you to experiment with this. Okay, take your camera out, practice movement, practice editing, trial different types of music to see what works best for you and the vibe that you like. So look, I hope this video has helped. If it has, let me know by hitting the old thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more content just like this or watch more videos, you can do that by clicking over there. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.